just finished my second year of theology at St. Charles Seminary in Philadelphia. I had arrived home that day and was about to go out to dinner with my parents that evening, and the phone rang, and I answered it. And this man said, I would like to speak to John Foley. And I said, which one? Because my father was John also. I said, junior or senior? He said, uh, junior. And he said, do you want to work here this summer? And I said, where is here? And he said, at the Catholic Standard and Times. He said, congratulations on winning these medals and did you uh, act on the junior town meeting of the air on the radio when you were in high school? And I said, yes. I said, who are you? And he said, I'm the editor of the Catholic Standard and Times. And I'd like you to work here. So, if I had not answered the phone, <laughs> I might not be a cardinal today. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly encourage as much activity as possible through internet. I still think that the Catholic press continues to have a very important role to play in the work of the church in North America today. First, I think that a Catholic publication on the coffee table or magazine rack is an excellent reminder for ourselves and our visitors of our Catholic identity. Like the crucifix above the bed in every Catholic home, a Catholic publication in the living room or in the family room is a continuing reminder of our identity as Catholics. In addition to this sense of Catholic identification, I would emphasize that the Catholic press continues to have an important role in the work of information, formation, inspiration, and continuing Catholic education. As we all know, it's not easy for Catholics to find a complete and authentic source for Catholic information in the secular media. It's not only necessary to have complete information about the Church on the local and diocesan level, but also about the universal Church and the Church on the national level. In this regard, I want to salute in a very special way the work of the Catholic News Service, CNS. By the way, I also taught to high school for one year. And I taught in what was then the largest Catholic high school in the world. It has since closed. It had 6,000 students. And I had six classes a day with 48 students in each class. And I had the least intelligent class. The last, <laughs> the last period of the day, after the gymnasium class, oh. for Victorian literature. <laughs>
God's truth and of God's grace. 